we started recording. I came here two minutes early with my portfolio. Okay, so here are all of your elements in your portfolio. Okay. I would like to ask you, what is your process when you work? Um, when you work on your English and or your writing? Well, for the narrative, it was harder. Because I just don't like talking about myself. It's easier for me to talk about other people and their stories. So like, when it was time for us to like, write about ourselves, I was like, oh. So you're not the only yeah. one, though. OK, I'm listening. Go ahead. So I was just writing about, like, I started from my family. And then I started, like, my, ho my hobbies, like, in the answer. All right, now you see how you just explained that to me? Do you mm -hmm. see how those are two different topics? Yes. Hobbies and family? Yes. And that's the reason why I'm always on you about writing an outline. Remember yes. how I stressed, like, when I start mm -hmm. showing about the outline, I'm like, it's your roadmap to your paper. Yes. Please use that because you just spoke what you said, yes. meaning you go off topic. Yes, I, I, I read my narrative and I was like, dang. Yeah. Do you, so now you're yeah. seeing, this is why I like to do the rewrites and revisions. Did you know that beforehand though? Um, well, before you. Before uh, even me maybe pointing it out or before you, did you know that beforehand before? Yes, I used okay. to do it, but like, I don't know, like somewhere I just stopped doing it. Well, I need you to find that side of you again. When it comes to your writing, stay on topic. So I won't open that up. Um, and you were working to the last minute and you still had plenty of revisions. So why did you not take me up in the offer to come to tutoring? Because I had like other stuff. Remember I said I could even do it online, but you wouldn't have to make an appointment. I didn't know that, the online That's thing. the purpose too of Google Docs, which is the awesome part of that. One, I was able to give you feedback in the document. So that means you also probably have to work in your time management, correct? Okay. Two, through that system, and I remember offering that because I think Ashlyn had asked, and I said, I'm able to, but you need to let me know why you need to do it online. Because online, you can pull up your document, I'm seeing you, you see me, and I actually, which is another reason why I like Google Docs, is I can highlight kind of how I did the feedback. Mm -hmm. I can still highlight it in that, but it's like you're one-on-one -on -one in front of me. Yeah. I didn't know that's the best that technology. Because yeah. <laughs> I couldn't come to it and that's what you should have let me, and that's why I said you all let me know, because I wanted you to do well, and you could have done better if you would have yeah. gotten that tutoring and even more hands-on guided instruction, mm -hmm. because it's some elements you still need to work on. What do you think you still need to work on? Like, pretty much what you said, like, order, like, the outline, mm -hmm. outlining, that's been exciting, stuff like that. And some of your format, your format is off on a lot of those, too. Don't forget to use your tools that I gave you. Go to Google, put in MLA, put in APA. What's your major, or what would you um, like right to further study? I'm in general studies. What is your passion, or do you have one right now? Mm -hmm. What is like, it? It's a mixture of music and art, but I want to get into psychology. Okay. Yeah. So since you spoke about art, how did you like the incorporation of the art aspect into your English? Yes, um, Lady of Rage and like Beauty Legends. Okay, so right. you like that? Okay, so you like doing that? It's awesome. You know the thing is, a lot of you all at first seemed afraid of doing APA, but when you got to integrate the art side and the legends, the RBA legends, but also just that content, you all did very well, especially for it being your first format in APA paper. So since you said Lady of Rage, I'm going to open it up. You are still working on it, still need some work, but let's go ahead and speak about it. What? See how I have the comment here? This is not even, this doesn't go on every page. So that's when you need to come to me for tutoring because some of this is, I wasn't able to help you with in class. Um, but let's go ahead and speak about it because you um, spoke about the art. Well, we okay. talked about the arts and you said, yes, you got excited about that. So go ahead. Okay, so before like, you know, you came to the class, you weren't talking a lot about, you know, people from BA. And like I have learned so much stuff about people like from VA because I didn't know so many people famous like Nate Parker, um, Newport News. Yeah, just like um, who else was that shop? Josie. Josie, uh, Devante, and, and Mel I want to say Devante and, and Dalvin because we both have Dalvin. D's. Yeah. Yes, are from Hampton, I believe. Mm -hmm. when someone talked about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nat Turner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't know so many people were from um, VA, so I like that you um, introduced us to so many people in um, VA. 
And I also do that, one, because like you said, people don't know about it. Two, it's important. Are you from Virginia? Yes. And that's another aspect I think that is very important because also like Brandon had said, not many people from VA. I was like, oh, that's the reason why we're going to do this. But it I helps you with your website. reading, your writing, your research. It's a fun way of integrating your culture, your people, mm -hmm. where you're from, your history, and your English. Because in history, you still need English aspects. So maybe you get to history class. Now you can still pick a VA legend to write about. I don't know how they will incorporate that. But I think that was important to know. What else did you learn about doing then um, your APA format research paper, but then um, learning about your legend, Lady of Rage? Um, or what did you like? What was exciting for you? Um, just like pretty much like learning about her background and death row records. And before like I even knew who she was, I've just always seen her as like the girl from like Friday. <laughs> Okay. And like, I was like, dang, she's from Virginia, so yeah, that's. And you know, when I did my KRS-1 project, and I kind of integrated like the Afroplex, I don't know if you mm -hmm. know, it's on my YouTube channel. And I was like, yeah, but she's also West Coast. And then as I started doing some things and analyzing Cypher, that she was part of with Mad Skills, I was like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, she's from Farmville, Virginia. Yeah. And then I introduced you this semester to her album, what is it, from VA to LA? Um, yeah. And I was trying to get that, and you know it sold out. I was like, oh no, but then that yeah, song. Yeah, I was on Amazon, and it was sold out. Yeah, and it's that yeah. one song that she talks about, Newport News. Yeah. Newport, like, it's crazy, all of VA. So that's, it's like a VA anthem. Yeah. Um, what else could you have done better for this paper? Um, one, I know getting additional help, like figuring out that tutoring aspect. But what else do you think could have helped you more within this process on this paper? And you could be honest. Citing, I, Citing I your sources. Yes, that was kind of like a major deal for me because I don't like I didn't know how to cite like that. Okay, so when I gave you your tools and I showed you the resources, mm -hmm. what is it that you needed in addition? That's what I'm thinking when you needed your tutoring and more guided instruction. Because if I'm showing you the tool, I'm taking mm -hmm. you to APA. I'm like, this is how they do a reference page. Mm -hmm. This is how you do electronic sources. I'm thinking that's when you would have benefited more than from that extra oomph. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all need it at times. Okay, so just remember that. If an instructor extends themselves to you as far mm -hmm. as getting that additional help, yeah. let them know. And if you can't make it physically in, ask them, is there another way that you can help me? Yeah, my communication skills suck. So let's work on those. Mm -hmm. Because this is your education, meaning you need to get what you can from it. If you yeah. think you're bothering an instructor, I do it all the time at ODU. I don't care because it's my education and I need to get it yeah. because I'm the one that has to pass. And people point that out because, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Let's see what else you have. We have like two minutes. Is there anything else um, that you would like to tell me that you liked about the class, didn't like about the class? Um, well, this is my favorite class. Like Brandon, yeah. yeah. He talked about like um, when he did that um, one time in class he stood up in the at air, the very end. I let him do that. Family, mm -hmm. yeah. That was yeah. I could wait to that. So I like that when people just stop and just like have a real moment in class. Okay. What do you think? Did I give you all the tools that you needed? Yes. Okay. Debate. The debate. Okay. Um, I have stage fright like crazy. Mm -hmm. I the only time that I don't have stage fright is when I'm sitting in front of people. But when I'm talking in front of people about, you know, stuff, it's just... And that's, I didn't know that about you. So you sang? And yeah. if I would have known that, you would have sung something because you know oh, I like to incorporate no. music that's in the class. That's not That is why I didn't say And that's important. You see right there how you told me that? Yeah. Address something like that in your narrative. Relate to a song. What's your favorite song? I have so many. Pick one. Prince. 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 Which one? Diamonds, Diamonds and Pearls. Yes. Love Diamonds and Pearls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so think about it. When you write a narrative, if someone else asks you about writing a narrative and we're almost a few seconds short, that could have been Diamonds and Pearls. You could be the diamond, you could have been the pearl, you could have been both. And you could have described yourself as being a diamond in the rough, forming in maybe to being a pearl or something. Think about that's when the that's art of education idea. comes into it. 
So don't think it has to be, well, at least when I teach and in the class that I teach, don't think it has to be a straightforward thing. You could have been that diamond. You could have been that pearl. You could have had an aspect in your life where you're the diamond and you changed being the pearl. You could have talked about yourself in that yeah. narrative in that way. Think about it. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, so just always think about jumping out that box. That's what I was trying to show you all this semester. Yes. Don't be defined to a box, confined to a box. Let no one ever do that to you. Never think beyond that, okay? Okay. All right. No problem. Thank you. And I will X out and I will stop our tape.